Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another video review for everybody out there. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some Blu-rays I got in the mail for review, and other things as well. And the first thing I'm going to show everybody, and this is going to be from Arrow Video USA, directed by, by John Hughes, and that is Weird Science, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do, yeah. Song from Oingo Boingo. Such a great name. Oingo Boingo. But anyway, uh, this is from 1985. It says 85. I want to say 84, though. But it says 85. I might be wrong. 84, 85. But, uh, yeah, this is about these two guys in high school who are, you know, the bottom of the food chain. Nobody likes them. They're Their only friends are each other. And uh, they decide that they want to put all this information into Wyatt's computer to kind of like simulate having a girlfriend and you know um, you know what they could do with it you know put it in these sexual situations and stuff like that and here what happens is they go a little further than that and they actually create a woman and here she like does has these powers and does any can do anything in the world and it's like a zany adventure from there and this movie, if you haven't seen this movie, you got to see it. I mean, right now, I'm just going to say, this is a fantastic movie. Love this movie. have always loved this movie since I uh, grew up, you know, since I first saw it a long time ago. Uh, it's rated PG-13. I don't understand how. I guess because of the rating system back then, it was different. But there's like a naked woman that slides across the floor and you know you see everything but again I guess that's just the times there's the the things they say in here you know uh, the situations again nowadays won't fly but whatever uh, I love this movie always love this movie definitely one of my favorite John Hughes movies um, but yeah a great cast of characters I really don't see anybody else playing these guys even though there was a TV show which I did like but to me, this will always be Gary and Wyatt, you know, uh, Anthony Michael Hall and Ian Michael Smith. I, I can never remember his name. Uh, Ian Michael Smith, who played Wyatt, Anthony Michael Hall, who played Gary. And I always remember uh, Anthony Michael Hall because he's the first actor I've ever heard of when I was younger that had my name, you know, Anthony. Uh, so he, like, instantly became one of my, you know, not a favorite actor, but, like, one that I... I like to see him in movies uh, but yeah you got him in here you got Robert Downey Jr. Robert Rustler Kelly LeBrock is Lisa uh, Suzanne Snyder Judy Aronson's in this uh, Bill Paxton plays Chet is fantastic in this also Michael Berryman and Vernon Wells I believe his name is in this as well like small parts there's like a cast you know great cast of characters in this and the special features in this are, are awesome as well there's, uh, you know, the original version that you can watch on here, and then there's an extended version. And I've seen the original version so many times that I wanted to watch the extended. And turns out I have seen the extended before, and I prefer the original. It's like the extended is like I could see why they cut some things. It's like, like the whole beginning, the way it was originally, I like it so much more. Like in the extended, there's like a whole different scene where they go down in the kitchen and they're talking and uh, Gary puts in like a bunch of frozen pizzas into the microwave and uh, stuff like that they're just talking about different things and they're talking about uh, Frankenstein how it's not scary it's campy and how Dawn of the Dead scared the shit out of Gary he had to sleep with his parents you know it's kind of funny it's interesting that you know I never knew about that but or at least I didn't remember about it but like I could see why it was cut so I really like how right after the whole beginning with the pulling the pants down and the credits or the uh, title screen it goes to like you know the bathroom and Gary you know shaving uh, you know it's just classic great 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 fucking movie I love this movie so much uh, and this is a fantastic addition like I said uh, a lot of special contents uh, there's even like a uh, a thing where you can like compare the two versions side by side on here and this is like a 4K, you know, uh, uh, you know, rendition of it, you know, whether a scan, that's the word, 4K scan from the original. Looks very, very good. Uh, I, I really like it. You know, again, I can't really say anything bad about this movie. I still think this holds up nowadays. Um, you know, 
there's it's just a fun fun movie the the computer you know they hack into things and maybe it's I don't know how to hack so to me it's still cool like I don't know uh, but it's just neat how everything is obviously it's it's fantasy it's fun and it's really cool you know and and the behind the scenes and interviews in here like with John Kapalos uh, you, you see him in like 16 um, I think he's, yeah 16 candles he's also in um, the breakfast club and that you know if you like John Hughes movies you know you have probably seen this before and if you haven't for some reason definitely check this one out it's a must see highly recommended by me definitely check this one out not a horror it's it's a fun comedy from the 80s and it has a lot of heart as well and you know just fantastic great time but let me show you you know what more about this edition here and here you have this slip cover here with this newly commissioned artwork by Tracy Ching and I'll tell you what that's some beautiful artwork there and I gotta say right away you can't feel this but I can and if anybody has the arrow edition of crimes of passion I believe it is this feels exactly like that the closest I can describe this is like a like a a petal of a of like a flower petal that's what it kind of feels like like it's very soft and delicate as I didn't mean to rub over Kelly LeBrock like that but that's it's it's very nice it feels very smooth you know nothing embossed but it's very very nice very cool throughout the whole thing like the whole thing is like that very cool I really really like that it's very very nice and there on the sleeve you're you have the new artwork again and then you could reverse it and put on the old artwork which you know everyone probably remembers that one I like either one I think I'm gonna keep it on this one though but since I do have a slip I might put this one on I'm not sure but I really like either one I, I like the new spine the font on there but this one's a little wider so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put but I'll probably put on the old artwork just because I have the slip cover and there's the special edition contents if you want to check them out you can pause it now and do so and here you have the blu-ray which is region a and you get a booklet and like I said here's the booklet with the new artwork on the front a lot of cool stuff you know the contents I love the imagery in here you know the restoration and you know, all the different interviews and stuff like that like look at that artwork around it kind of looks like an old trading card to be honest like I think that looks really really cool and you know look at that that's awesome too you know Lisa Kelly LeBrock was so badass in this you know about the restoration transfer and that and there's the back one interesting little factoid that I found out while watching the special features was that uh, there were two other women considered to play Lisa and one of them was Robin Wright who everyone probably knows as Jenny from Forrest Gump and the other one was Sharon Stone so if you could try to picture those two or one you know as as Lisa definitely can't see them doing it only Kelly LeBrock can play Lisa and maybe uh, the other one from the sh TV show but definitely Kelly LeBrock is my Lisa but we're not going to talk about the TV show that had two seasons and, and that's that which would be cool if that would actually come out on blu-ray and you know see because the DVDs are too expensive to buy uh, straight up on Amazon but anyway that was a cool show this is an awesome movie all around you know this is an awesome addition I think if you're a fan of the movie definitely get this and uh, if you have the blu-ray already I say this is a cool upgrade I, I like it uh, I don't have any other edition to compare it to to be honest I know there's a lot of other editions but uh, I think this one's fantastic uh, for the slip cover alone if you're not into slip covers I don't know it's up to you I guess but really highly recommended check this one out so that's weird science mm -mm. next up I have here is never hike alone this was sent over to me from Womp Stomp Films and this is directed by Vincent DeSanti if I'm saying that wrong I'm very sorry but uh, this is a Friday the 13th fan film and what this is about it's about this this hiker who kind of like doesn't actually say he's like a you know a YouTube thing but he, he talks to like his fans and stuff he's like does advertisements like for like this shovel like you know sponsorships and that so he's going out and he's he's going to like 
hike this one th like trail and that and he decides he's gonna make a, a shortcut through this one area and here he realizes that it's Camp Crystal Lake from, and you know he heard about the rumors from back in the day it's a ghost story and everything but he doesn't realize that it's actually true so he comes across Jason and shit hits the fan so that's all I could say without you know saying anything else about what happens in the movie you can imagine if you've seen a Friday the 13th movie you can imagine but uh yeah it was a fan film and uh Vincent and them and um also the guy who played the hiker in this um was Andrew Leedy Lighty I'm not really sure I say he had a cool name though Kyle Kyle Mc, McLeod McLeod Kyle McLeod Leoid I <laughs> It sounded cool in the movie, but it does sounds like sh like sh 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 uh, I don't know what am I like uh, I'm like a balloon letting out air. I'm really butchering this. Kyle McCloyd, Kyle McCloyd. Maybe I had to say it like that. Uh, he had a great name. That's what I was trying to say. But anyway, rambling now. But yeah, this was a this was a pretty pretty cool, fun movie. Uh, I I really love the setting. Uh, if you watch the special features, uh, you see how they came upon the place and uh you know it's an actual place that i don't think they had to like really do much to it to uh you know set it up for the for the for the shots and everything uh very very cool uh awesome setting uh i really i really enjoyed it i really thought there's like this head cast i don't want to give it away there's a head cast they use and the stunt they use with it was incredible like I thought to myself how the hell did they do that and it's like oh it's a head cast I thought it was really somebody's head like that was incredible like fantastic effect there I, I gotta say that was absolutely incredible but yeah um, I thought I thought it was great there's actually two different guys that play Jason Voorhees the director actually plays Jason and there's another guy that plays Jason as well and um, they actually bring back Tom uh, Matthews as, as Tommy Jarvis in this and it's not really giving anything away because his pictures on the back you know uh, and it says it here as Tommy Jarvis so I'm not giving anything away but that's cool to see him in this as well it's pretty cool to see somebody that grew up loving horror so much and loving the Friday the 13th franchise one day just be like I'm gonna make my own Friday the 13th movie and then they do and this is the result you know it's pretty cool just to see somebody's dreams come true and I'm able to watch it and review it for them and check it out you know it's it's really really cool that it can do that uh, I, I wish there was more blood in it um, I love that there's the idea of just you know the blogger and well it's it's not really he's a blogger but it's uh he's a uh, it's a adventure blogger as they put it on here um, but I I kind of wish there was more a bigger cast that way there was more bodies that's probably the one thing I would say I would wish there was more of uh, in the movie like a more body a, a higher body count. Um, which would, you know, like a lot of Friday the 13th movies, that would have been cool. But uh, I really thought, you know, they did a good job with what they had. Uh, and I'm not, that's not a knock on anything, I, uh, because I think what they did was fantastic. Uh, it's, uh, you could tell it's a little low budget, but it's a little different too as well, because he wears like this... Um, GoPro on him on him so you get like different views as well even of Jason uh, you get like the GoPro view of it and then you get like you know the camera for the movie and shit like that so it's pretty cool like it's it's a different way of looking at a Friday the 13th movie as well so that was really cool and, and in fact I heard I uh, that the next Friday the 13th movie supposedly was going to be found footage this is sort of kind of like that so technically this is already uh the first found footage type of movie uh friday the 13th movie in, in my opinion not the whole movie is found footage if that's not your thing don't worry it's not the whole movie i for one would love to see an entire found footage movie of jason 
I've said this in uh, countless reviews before. I'm a found footage fan. I guess I'm a fanatic, really. I, I will watch any one of them. I love them. So there's a lot of bad ones. And the fact that he was showing with the GoPro on here, I was excited. I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, this is going to be different. Um, the one thing I, that made me nervous is that he's out there in the woods all alone. And he's like, all right, we got to get going. And he's running. He's got to get like somewhere in eight hours till the, till the sun goes down or something like that. And he's running. And I get it, you got to get, get there quick. But I thought, wow. You, I hope you have the skills because you're jumping off of rocks and running and then it's like what if he breaks his leg I'm just thinking like whitewater summer you don't have no kids to make like a tourniquet for you you know and carry you out there you know and, which is funny because that's Kevin Bacon I just realized that that's Friday the 13th didn't mean to do that but it happened and I like it never hike alone definitely check this one out if you can right now uh, this this right here is the from the second edition they also had uh um what was a kickstarter or it's like you know somebody it was one of those things people were contributing to it and uh you know they got their movie made and this is actually they sent this over to me from like the second batch so that was really nice of them i really appreciate that um and it's really cool that i got to check it out because i was seeing this all over the place that people were you know getting it in a convention so you know took a chance and they sent it to me and I really appreciate that and there are some special features on here and I'll show you that and I'll show you the inside and there you have the front cover here a little bit of a closer look that's pretty cool you know it's like a mountain but it's Jason that's really really cool I like that a lot and then you got the back and there see like I said there's Tom how do you say it Tom Matthews yeah I was gonna say Mathers for a second there Tom Matthews and some special features and stuff and it is it's not rated and there's the special features if you want to pause it now and check them out you can and right here is this little card and I'll show you what's on the back of that card in a minute and here's the blu-ray and it is region a B and C and like I said here's that card that was in there you know the, the I don't know if it's a title card it's a postcard -ish kind of thing but there's it there and there's a thank you on this side and it says thank you for your purchase of the never hike alone Friday 13th fan film blu-ray home video re video release none of this is possible without your support and we hope that you enjoy this very limited edition second edition release of the film Jason will never die because of fans like you and then it has a signature I believe it's from the the blogger and from the director and now while I admit I did not buy this they sent this to me for review and that's not why it's getting a glowing review or anything um, it I really do enjoy this and I did say you know what I thought what I would like more for it but uh, I do I would like everybody to uh, you know click the link below and go support them if you can you know uh, or and even just spread the word and go and support them that way you know if you can't buy it support them by sharing this video and or sharing the link that I'm gonna put in the, in the description box directly to their you know video or their Instagram and that you know and then that way they can get all the hits that they they need and sell more and you know then the cards that you know later on people that thank you because of like this 50th edition you know all the way down the line so we want to I want to get this out there and spread around because this is very very cool uh, awesome you know and I talked enough about this right now so yeah definitely check this one out if you can that's never hike alone next up I have here from scream team releasing is exposure this is directed by Austin Snell and what this is about is about this couple who are having problems so they go up to this cabin in the woods it's in this isolated you know part of the woods it used to belong to the the guy the guy from the couple it used to belong to his grandparents back in the day so it's a family cabin in the woods so they go up there to you know relax get away from it all try to reconcile and you know get away from all their problems and everything you know in the in where they live and everything and what they don't know is, is that there's something about the woods that that tends to get inside of people and likes to turn them into something that they're really not now when I first saw this uh, I actually saw that they were selling this 
before you know before this came out on blu-ray the company was selling it and it was from a trash night home video and they actually were selling it on vhs and i was like well you know what? i'm gonna get it on the on vhs uh you know seems pretty cool you know it's a cool green one you know nice and, and i haven't watched it i haven't watched the vhs and then when i saw that scream team releasing was putting out on blu-ray I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to get the Blu-ray anyway. You know, why not? Support them, you know, whatever. I have the VHS. Okay. Uh, I thought the movie was okay. I thought it dragged at some scenes. I guess it would be a slow burn. Um, but I, there were at times where the uh, the male actor, um, Owen Lawless, I, I, I just, I don't know, I just didn't really like his character like that he was playing. And it, and it wasn't even at the times where things were happening, uh, you know, to him or to the couple. It just, I, I just didn't like how he was portraying the character. I don't know, it just, I guess, not believable. I didn't really care for him. Uh, I thought that the actress, uh, Carmen Anello, I thought she did a really good job in this. And, uh, you know, I thought the setting was really cool. I think the practical effects were pretty cool. I think... Um, there was a little sexual innuendo in there with a lot of the special effects. A lot of things seem to be growing, especially with their, there's like this thing with the finger. Because you could see right there on the cover, there's like the, uh, you know, creature hand. The, the, like, nail or whatever would grow and it would, like, be able to shoot out. And it kind of like, kind of like a phallus, phallic, phallus, whatever the word is. Uh, very uh, penis shaped, kind of, not really penis shape but like you know it just it grew out and especially when he finds this thing in like the water it like comes out like and it looks like a like a ball sack and like a dick growing uh, it's just it, it's just uh, I don't know uh, I don't know but uh, yeah I thought the movie was okay um, I'd probably watch it again yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't blown away or anything by it, but yeah, I thought the the it was it wasn't bad. You got Lynn Lowry on in here, and uh, she plays like a, a gra the grandmother, and you know, she did a, a good job in this. But um, yeah, as far as like the other Scream Team releasing movies I've I've seen uh, that they released, you know, um, I th I thought this one uh, was better than some, but it's definitely not the best one I've seen, and it was okay. Um, but, yeah, that, that's all I want to say about that. I think it's just okay. So now I'll show you what's on the inside. And here you have the front artwork, which is, you know, pretty cool. I like that one. And then you got this reversible artwork here, which is, I do... I like this one, too. I'm not sure which one I like more, though. I think probably this one. This one gives a little more mystery than the back. The, this one doesn't really give anything away, either. But this one, I think, you know... Is pretty cool looking uh, and you know you get the spine it's the same on either side of the spine and there's a special features if you want to pause it now you can so here you have the blu-ray and it is all region region free and it is not rated one of the cool things here in, in the special features is there's a VHS trailer and it's made to look obviously like you were watching a VHS and this like the trailer at the beginning and it looks really really cool uh, it's uh, I don't remember seeing, maybe I did see that trailer before, or maybe I saw, like, I don't know. But, like, I'll tell you what, I think this movie looks, would if that's how this movie looks on the VHS, it, w it looks fantastic. Like, it looks like a really cool VHS. I mean, it looked fine. It looked awesome, you know, on Blu-ray and everything, and the captions were good and all that kind of stuff. But it looks like it might be a movie that you should see on VHS maybe you know maybe it would enhance the experience it almost reminds you of something from the 90s you know even though it was made nowadays it reminds you of like like a horror movie like a monster movie kind of thing made in the 90s so it has that kind of charm to it as well so uh, you know uh, I, I don't really know if there's any of these left there I'm sure there are you could check out trash night home video there might be some of them um, it's 78 minutes long but you know, and it's a good, a good uh, amount of time. But yeah, um, I, I, I think it's, it's probably worth at least watching one time. You know, get your own opinion on it. I thought it was okay, not blown away, but yeah, okay, yeah, 
that's what I'm going to say about it. So yeah, that's exposure. Next up I have here from Epic Pictures and Dread Central Presents is a movie called Lasso. And this is number nine in the group. So this is like a little older, but um, I've been meaning to review this and I haven't. Uh, this is, yeah, Lasso. And what this is about, it's about this group, this like old folks home group that goes to this rodeo. And, you know, it's just a typical rodeo where they, you know, do a lot of things to animals that are, you know, in my opinion, not right, but, you know, that's what they're doing to it, you know, they go to the rodeo to have a good time, and um, they don't realize that there's a lot going on behind the scenes of the rodeo, where actually they, they kidnap people and they torture them in various ways as if they were the animals, and I gotta say, I, I tried watching this once before, and it... I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't digging it. I, I was just like, I'm just not into this. It's not, yeah, it's not grasping my attention, and I and I just kind of blew it off. I didn't want to watch it. And then I thought, you know what? I haven't watched that in a while. I should probably put it in. I put it on, and I don't know what the hell. It had to have been like I wasn't in the mood to watch it because this time I thought it was really good. It was a really good movie. Like. Um, they don't really explain why they're doing this. I guess it's just because they're sadistic and they like to kill people. But um, it was it was a, a so bloody, and there were things that like the way they did with the people, how they 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 branded them, you know. Um, and there's like things they do with the animals, like they put them in the stirrups, or I don't even I don't know what any of that shit's called. But they put them in, they, you know, they try to wrestle them to the ground and all that kind of stuff. But, like, there's so much more to it. Like, it's very gruesome and and a very, um, it's just, it's just very barbaric in how way they treat these people. And it, it was a very big surprise. I was completely surprised at how much I, I ended up liking this. And I didn't get, I guess I just didn't get that far into the movie at first. And, um... Maybe it was somebody in the cast that threw me off. I'm like, I don't like this person, and then I lost interest. Or I must have just something must have been going on at the time that I couldn't pay attention to the film that much. So that's why I like to say, like, you know, I don't like the movie at the time, or maybe I, I, I just wasn't in the mood or wasn't in the right frame of mind to watch the movie. So I got to give it another try. Which you know, if I if I say I don't like something, you know, that doesn't mean you shouldn't watch it. But that's just my opinion. You know, and maybe you'll have the same one, but you know, I should always give it a try. But this one, I definitely think you should check out. I think I thought it was it was really good. You know, some some of the cast of characters were it was kind of like, eh. You know, like their acting was okay, but and some of them were really good. And there were there were people that you really liked, and and there were people like, you know, you didn't like. Even the bad guys. Uh, there was one guy, he just, like, would not die. He wouldn't stop. And he's just like, oh, my God, come on already, just die. One of the cast in here is Sean Patrick Flannery, and he is one of the heroes in here. And you're definitely going to cheer for him and, and, you know, hope that he lives through the movie. And he's just one of the heroes in here. There's, a, a you know, a few of them that you're going to like and, you know, hope live through the movie, like I said. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it was a good time, and I, I definitely think this one's worth checking out. I definitely really enjoyed Lasso a lot more than I thought I was going to the second time around. Like I said, I don't know what was going through my head the first time, but definitely worth checking out. I really enjoyed it. And there's no reversible cover or anything. It's just this cool image here and on the back. Uh, you know, it has, you know, this kind of stuff. But it's special features. It has, like, a, uh, some interviews and stuff, uh, audio commentary, deleted scenes, bloopers, trailers, and more. So there's actually a lot of special features on here. Uh, so I definitely think this is worth picking up for the gruesome, uh, you know, effects alone. Very, very cool. A lot of gouging, people getting cut in half, blood and guts, lots of stuff. So definitely check out Lasso. Next up I have here that's also from Epic Pictures and Dread Central Presents is Terrifier, and this is number two 
in the series if you're following the series uh, I'm, I'm doing them all out of order but this is terrifier number two in the series and uh, what this is about it's about art the clown and art the clown is originally from all hallows eve which was like this anthology made by the same director that did this and uh, now they made a full movie called terrifier and art the clown is basically like this sadistic clown that um, basically goes around killing people and what happens in this story is there's these two girls in the beginning it's Halloween night and they're just you know after a party they're drunk they're trying to you know just you know relax afterwards sober up a little bit so they go and uh, Art, Art the clown sees them and basically follows them into this pizza place and it's creeping them out a little bit and then uh, what happens is their car the the tire is flat somehow and goes from there where uh you know things get happen in this building and art decides that you know he tortures people in various ways and just murders and and you know does various things to these people uh in in different ways anybody that comes in his path really he's, no he's not you know it doesn't matter who it is he he will he will take them out no matter who they are and these girls just got in his sights unfortunately and uh... you know his sights were set on them and that's what this is about but uh... yeah art the clown is a fucking creepy creepy terrifying looking clown he doesn't talk even if he gets hurt he doesn't make a sound he doesn't make a sound he's very creepy his teeth are all bloody uh... he's just weird he's just a fucking scare I, I i don't care i would have never stayed in that pizza place as long as they did and the one girl's just kind of blowing it off like oh he's harmless he's harmless what are you afraid he's gonna cut us up into little pieces and the other girl's terrified like and she's like i want to get my food to go i i don't know i i would have ran the hell out of there got in the car and got and left or or, or something or called the cops and uh, if you know I don't know it, it's he's terrifying he is a scary scary clown uh, there is a lot of like brutality in this a lot of uh, you know blood and guts uh, like guts literally lots of like you know disem it's disembowelment stuff like that like it's very bloody it's a very bloody film um, I wouldn't say over the top, like t too extreme. There's one scene where he like he he steps on a guy's head a few times, and then it just explodes, and it's kind of a, a little exaggerated. It's like there it wouldn't. I really doubt the person's head would explode after like the third kick. So like that kind of was like eh, really. But uh, and the only other thing that I would complain about really is there's not really a background about him. Like why he's doing this uh... where does he come from who is he i would like to know more about art the clown but they don't really go into it um, but you know there is a sequel in the works you can go and contribute to it now actually and uh... you know contribute to it i, I don't know any of the perks and or any of that stuff but you know, there are making it part two so uh... and that's not giving anything away you know really um yeah but you, you should see the movie did i like it yeah I, I liked it i i thought it was it was good but like i just said i i wish i knew more about him but uh yeah just for the creepiness alone you know because i'm not afraid of clowns or anything but this guy would have got to me i he, like really like he does he does this thing the girl came out and she he's just standing there like like still like completely still and then he just move so quickly it kind of scared me i was like whoa like he he did such a good job he did the guy who plays him did such a good job and he's so scary uh definitely a fucking freaky scary clown like way scarier than pennywise and i'm talking tim curry because the, the new pennywise is not scary at all i think he's a joke i think he looks like a joke the movie it was okay but i don't think i don't think the new pennywise is scary at all my opinion but yeah so art the clown definitely one of the scariest clowns i've ever seen not on youtube
<laughs> the clowns on YouTube where they're just standing in the woods or they're walk people are walking in the woods and there's a clown that's fucking terrifying if I saw Art the Clown in the woods like that I, I would I probably die of fright right there but yeah I'll show you what's inside here now and we'll check it out and there's the other cover the other side uh, this is what you get when you get this I have it reversed the other one but uh, there's art there very very scary looking pretty cool I do like that cover and you reverse it to this and there's nothing showing that's why I have it but you know you got that it's very it's a cool looking cover very you know it's drawn very sadistic you know shows exactly how he is and I forgot to mention this is written and directed by Damien Leon I, I guess I say it but yeah um, so that's the, the reverse cover there for you and there's the special features if you want to check them out now you can pause it and do so and here you have the blu-ray and the DVD not really you can't really tell the difference between them you have to look and see it says one says blu-ray one says DVD but uh, you know that's cool you know that there's different artwork but you know I wish it was a little bit more you know that you could tell the difference but they are region free and if you don't want to go out and you know just buy this without you know checking it out I believe it's still on Netflix if you have Netflix if you want to check it out uh, it's on there and I'm sure it's on other places as well but it, it was last I saw on Netflix I actually at the time had bought this without even watching it and and it took me this long to watch it and uh, I liked it I, th I definitely think it's uh, worth a watch and I would watch it again uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the second one I, I'd like I'd like to see them up their game and wow that was really Italian to me up their game I like to see them up the game uh, but this and it also this thing it, it could be considered a Halloween movie I mean like I said this was part of the All Hallows Eve thing which is a Halloween anthology kind of thing and I remember liking that but and that Art the Clown was like the creepiest thing in that but now that he has his own movie here it's on Halloween night and it doesn't really you know it's just on Halloween night it's not like about Halloween or anything so I mean but who knows maybe that's why Art's out I don't know the I don't know his legend or whatever but you know I'm looking forward to seeing part two and I think I'm gonna contribute to it because I think there should be more Art the Clown even though I'm fucking terrified of him Terrifier is a perfect name for this because he is a terrifying person you know uh, but yeah so that's Terrifier and last year I have a blu-ray from Tempe Digital and that is Robot Ninja and this is directed by J.R. Bookwalter it's from 1989 and what this is about it's about this comic book artist who has this TV show called Robot Ninja and it's based off of his comic book and he's not happy with the way it's going because it's very campy it's more along the lines of like the 60's Batman and which Burt Ward is in this movie and kind of makes a little joke about the show about how it's better bigger than Batman and you know all that kind of stuff but anyway uh, so Leonard Miller who is the um, the artist uh, and it's based off his comic isn't like I said isn't happy with it so he wants to keep his comic the way it is you know kind of like vigilante uh, you know brutal all that kind of stuff so as he's driving he witnesses this like murder rape going on and he gets involved and he gets his ass kicked so what he wants he wants his inventor friend to invent him the actual suit from robot ninja so he can go out and become the robot ninja and strike vengeance and uh you know get the people that did that to him and stop them from continuing to uh murder people because apparently they are can they still are doing this even after the two people they did this to so he's going he want that's what he wants to do you know basically be a vigilante and stop people so that's what this is about and this is uh, like I said it's a uh, J.R. Bookwalter and if you don't know who he is he did uh, ozone and probably now I I didn't review it but I was going to but one of now one of my favorite zombie movies ever the dead next door if you haven't seen that one from him check that one out it's awesome it's before this uh, there's it's actually the same year but I believe but this is 1989 but this came out after after the dead next door in fact there's like um, 
there's a lot of awesome horror posters in here including the dead next door a lot of the cast in here are from the dead next door um, but this is a totally different movie there there's a lot of uh, you know blood and, and guts and stuff in here as well you know practical effects but um, not nearly as much as in the dead next door um, and with that being said I don't like this movie nearly as much as I do the dead next door I'm pointing because I have it up there uh, as nearly as much as the dead next door um, and again it's a totally different type of movie but I think for a superhero movie it was kind of weak it was I mean he's a superhero but you know he has no powers he kinda gets his ass kicked like throughout the whole movie there's some cool shots you know cool effects and everything the best part about this is the behind the scenes where uh, Phantom uh, Phantom Pain I believe what is it is yeah what Phantom Pain films they talked to they talked to uh, J J R Bookwalter and he goes and talks about the process of this same thing with the the Dead Next Door uh, you know because it's a 2K restoration a lot of companies though like oh it's restored restored on 2K and then you could still see like the blips or like you know little white marks and that you know maybe it's from like glue from when they cut the film and you know kind of like oh, that's the best that we can do but I'll tell you what this guy is dedicated to his movie he had lost his negative for a long time and he was never really 100% happy with how it turned out and then he, they, he got it and he's like yes let's put this you know 2k scan got it scanned because it was a very very dark movie and he shows like comparisons of how it used to be like on VHS and and, and you know compared to this now and it's like a world of difference like the mo the movie looks fantastic and he actually went in and took out like the the little like little marks like like it t said it took him like for like weeks like month or more like just like hours and hours of doing this stuff like going in and taking out all this stuff uh maybe there was like uh cables along the lines along the floor like orange cable wires you know he went in and digitally took them out and like the one scene where this guy like gets killed and he falls over the girl and there's like a pipe like a, a hose coming up his back a green hose and I guess in the VHS it's I don't I've never seen the VHS but it's it's very noticeable and you see it and in this he went in and took that out and I remember the scene because I just watched the movie after I seen the uh, or before I've watched the movie before I watched the uh, special features in the interview and I, I don't remember seeing that and it's just so amazing how he wanted this to be the per the, the best way he wanted it to be you know uh going in and taking out like maybe lights that were left in the background or stuff like that you know things he there was even a scene where the guy's looking at the girl in the window and it was a summer so it was starting to rain and there was rain coming down he took the rain out you'd never know is it's just amazing how what he did and how he could do it even bugs flying around the summertime took them out never know it was so cleaned up and everything the guy did an amazing job so such a fantastic addition uh, and I, I even though I didn't really think the movie was that great I think the cleanup job and just what you know, everything he you know the passion he put into it a hundred percent I that that just made me that made the movie better for me because he you know again the movie was was just okay I didn't really think it was amazing or anything especially compared to the dead next door which he did the same thing with that you know went in and digitally removed stuff he talks about what he and it shows what he removed in that one too amazing such dedication this man had to putting taking stuff out and 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 get it the way he wanted you know great i i'd love love to sit, sit down and, and talk with him one day uh just amazing what he did and um Again, seeing the comparison to VHS and this, I definitely would think you, it's a world of difference with this because uh, the one guy that did the VHS, like they, they nicknamed him the Prince of Darkness because it was so dark, 
you know, and it was kind of like, you know, busting on him. It was such a dark movie, you couldn't really see anything. And now there was just highlighted the things that were were there, but you couldn't see. Now you could see it. it makes it a whole different movie. And uh, again, I never saw the VHS, but I don't now. I don't want to. A lot of times, I will say, uh, I'd like to see the VHS of that, or maybe the VHS would be better than watching the Blu-ray. This one, 100%. I don't want to watch the VHS. I want to see the. I I just would rather watch this. I'd watch it again, I'll be honest. I would watch it again. I'd like to go back and, and check it out again. The villains in this are very hateable. Can't stand them. Can't stand them. That's all I could say. Like They're such little weasley pieces of shit. I can't stand them. Like, I just want bodily harm to come to them. Um, and But I want like the robot ninja... Like I just want him to... like kick more ass you know that's just the thing i actually picked this up at vhs fest a blu-ray at vhs fest um from phantom pain films he had a he sells vhs there and uh he was he had this there and you know the dead next door and he's the one who actually interviewed jr bookwalter on here you don't hear him talk or anything but he he did interview him and uh you know and he did it on the dead next door as well i believe but uh, yeah, just fantastic edition. Uh, I wish everything that I reviewed and every everything. I wish it, oh, so much passion went into things the way they did with this. It's funny how I'm blowing this movie up so much that I didn't even really care for. It's just the passion that went into it that really I respect. You know. Also, in this is Linnea Quigley. She don't have a huge uh, you know part in it, but she's in here, and there's an interview with her. So if you're a Linnea Quigley fan, you got Linnea Quigley in here. So now there's a lot to this, so let's get through that and I'll show you what's inside. First off, you got a slip cover here with the robot ninja there. And a different, you got like a comic book art style underneath. And on the back, you actually have autograph from J.R. Bookwalter on the back there. And like I said, there's the comic book cover art there for you. And then if you flip it around, you got the original artwork that's on the VHS. Now this might be a little hard to see, but if you pause it, you could check it out. There's a lot of special features. There's some on the VHS, or I'm sorry, there's some on the Blu-ray, and there's some on the DVD. So if you want to pause it now and check them out, you can. And the inside here, you have a Blu-ray, you have a DVD, and you got this booklet here. And it looks like a little comic book, but it's not. It's just a cover. And they are region free. And the cool thing is, if you're into it, I'm not into it, but you put in the DVD and it's actually the soundtrack to the movie so you also get you know a lot of extra stuff on here in the ultimate edition another cool thing that I got because I was there I don't know if you get this online or not but I got this poster pretty decent sized poster I honestly don't know what this is you know what the size is but it's double sided you got the old artwork there and you have the new artwork very very cool I, I, I think if I were gonna hang it up I would hang this one up uh, either one is cool though to be honest I mean this isn't a, I'm not a huge fan of this but you gotta like the, you know the nostalgia to it you know you gotta like the retro but I do like the newer artwork as well so yeah like I said fantastic edition the ultimate edition I just wish I liked the movie more it's the only thing but I do really think this is a fantastic edition for anybody who really likes this movie also if you are uh, you know you, you don't have the VHS and you know it's hard to find or whatever uh, the DVD actually has the VHS you know on it like it's I guess it's not changed at all though so if you want the DVD has the VHS as it was it just on DVD so there you go you don't you know you, you don't have to uh, worry if you can't find the VHS anywhere but yeah so that's all I'm gonna say about Robot Ninja well that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below if you're interested in any one of these movies I'll have links below for that as well also trailers below there'll be links for that as well but like I always say proceed with caution there may be spoilers well that's it everybody thanks for watching and talk to you later Bye.